Hello gainers, I am Ralphie and welcome to my channel called Fitter Philosophy in which I bring together the natural stoic philosophy which is particularly practical and useful in having a better quality of life um, with um, my experience and share it with you. In other words, taking the common sense philosophies and making them a little bit fitter and one way we can do that is to take what we're given in life to experience life. In other words, we're inside our bodies, but we have certain senses with which to register and engage with the outside world. And those senses are smell, sight, taste, hearing, and touch and we all use them certainly those who are for example visually impaired or hard of hearing will use one specific or possibly more senses less specifically but by and large the majority of people have senses fairly intact the problem is that they are partially used because they're not developed, they are passively taken for granted and the result is that we get less out of life and hearing, the sense of hearing, is a classical example of a sense which is going to waste because if you're like myself, out in a, a nice breezy morning in the countryside during pandemic lockdown, socially isolating in the nicest possible way. It's very tempting to dismiss the background as simply noise, but if we pause for a minute and start to use our sense of hearing more objectively in a smarter and more focused way, focusing in that sense, just focusing on the moment through one particular sense, and this occasion sense of hearing, what do we hear? We hear water, we hear wind, we hear the creaking of wood, we hear the softness in the environment around us of the elements, and even within the music alone in the stream which is meandering its way so attractively behind me, no litter in there by the way, clean as a whistle. Water, you can drink the water out of that stream. You can hear the music in the water, in the sound it makes. And if you look at folklore, it's interesting how running water has actually got magical properties. Uh, you know, for example, in Western mythology, witches cannot cross running rivers and moving streams because of the positive energy that is generated within the water and carried in within the, within the water. And in fact, modern science is beginning to back that up in that water actually retains memory. Memory of where it has come from and a preemptive memory of where it's going. It's a little bit quantum physics, but it's happening. Science is certainly improving the range of our senses but so does art, and in particular, the art of noise is in music. And when we listen to music, we can listen two ways. We can listen passively, if we happen to be a sh in a shopping mall, and they've got the Muzak in the background, which is just there to jolly people along, people keep people, well, keep people a little more, bit more positive and upbeat, and basically spending more money whether they've got it or not. It's modern life. We have to be smart about it. But also there is the proactive listening to music. And this is what I want to leave you with. I'm going to encourage you to go and find a piece of your favorite music. It won't be hard because we keep precious things in our lives. It's not so much these days about gold rings and Swiss watches. It's about these things they seem trivial to others, but matter to us. And music is very much 
an important part of that. And we all have our favourite pieces of music that we go back to now and again and we listen to them. But I'm going to invite you to listen as you normally would, which is relatively passively. And you'll be aware of the familiarity of that music. But once you've done that, make yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, give yourself a bit of a break, and then come back, even put the headphones on, and start to listen to that music again. But re close your eyes, and just cover your nose so you're not smelling anything, and sit still. In other words, downgrade the remainder of your senses to enhance the specific sense, in this case hearing, that you're using. And listen to that music again and focus on it. Concentrate on what you're listening to and you will hear more. And as a result of hearing more, examine your mood and your feeling of self and positivity at the end of that piece of music. And you will be surprised at what you discover Go on, I dare you, challenge yourself. We're surrounded by people who do not challenge themselves, who are constantly seeking cosy, soft comforts, who want to institutionalize and bubble wrap their lives in passive use of senses and constant rewards. And look how miserable these people are, or even worse, Look how dumb they have become. Be warned, gainers. It's a trap that lies out there for all of us, and we really need to avoid it. I'm Ralphie, and I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking you for watching my video. Please subscribe, click likey, bang the bell, etc. And I'm now going to leave you with a minute or two of this music. Have a listen. There's no, there's no soundtrack involved, except the one provided by Mother Nature. And it is indeed the most complex, the most harmonious and the most beautiful of soundtracks that, than we, that we can possibly have in our lives. Just saying.